Hey everybody, I'm St. Maddie, and recently at the 2019 Game Awards, Microsoft unveiled the newest Xbox model, the Xbox Series X. Now what we're going to go over today is if this system might be a flop, or if you should keep it on your radar. First and foremost, why exactly was this system called the Xbox Series X? Now the next generation of Xboxes, the system itself, is just called Xbox. The Series X has a similar naming style to the Xbox One X and then the less powerful Xbox One S. In an interview with GameSpot, Phil Spencer said, in the name Series X, it gives us freedom to do other things with the name, so that we can create descriptors when we need to. So while it may seem convoluted, it's just a continuation of the Xbox brand. Previous generation and the current generation will just all be Xbox, and the newest system will be the Series X. Now, with the term Series X, they're also going to be leaving the door open for brand freedom. In layman's terms, it keeps the window open for other Series X items. You could have the Series S, a less powerful, more affordable version. Now, while I think the name is interesting and good for the brand to at least continue the title of Xbox, keep that at the forefront, I can definitely understand buying confusion, and I can understand if that somebody who's not in the gaming world doesn't really understand the naming convention. I believe it's simple. Generation is going to be continued Xbox, that's the family name. The model is Series X. But they still could have made it simpler. Now moving on from the name is the heftiness and the size of this big puppy. It's much more of a box than an X, like the original Xbox version, than we've ever seen. It really went serious with that nomenclature. Because what you're looking at now resembles a desktop PC tower. We're used to the traditional flat consoles, but this thing looks like an obelisk. And I'm sure a lot of people are going to have issues with fitting it into an entertainment center or a tight nook and cranny. So you're going to want to optimize your playing space for this thing as it might seem better suited in a really big open space or on top of a desk without a roof. Now keep in mind there is some flexibility here because you can position it vertically or horizontally. So if you have more vertical space in a cupboard per se, but the roof is still too short, you should be covered. Now it's not going to be as simple as lugging around a GameCube anymore, but keep in mind that it still should be reasonable for the amount of space it should take up. Now moving on from the size of the hardware, we really need to take a look at how optimized the cooling system is for this thick boy. Now the top part of the console isn't there just to look like a rocket launcher, it's actually a cooling vent. And the fact that it takes up literally the entire top of that Xbox, it should be quite liberal in its heat displacement. There's apparently only one fan, so the noise should be at a minimum, but with its rectangular design, most heat should easily be able to leave the system, cooling it as efficiently as possible. So altogether, with the new design, it does look like a PC tower. It should be cooled quite efficiently, and the noise should be at a minimum. Now with the look of the system, how does the look and the feel of its peripherals stack up? Bare bones, if it works, don't fix it. There are some minor differences between the new Series X controller and previous generations. It's slightly more rounded, but the size remains similar to that of the Xbox One's controller. And it does sport a cooler looking D-pad, more or less a hybrid combination of the general Xbox One D-pad and the Elite Controller D-pad. Oh, and that little third button there, it's not a Cyclops eye, they've added a share button which really isn't a big deal, because if you go an extra few steps, you can still share your gameplay easily, so it's not something to be too excited about. Now let's get into the meat of this system. Let's take a look at the specs. Now while the extensive details are scarce at the moment, we do have some ideas of the capabilities of the hardware. The Xbox Series X should have much more realistic lighting, shadows, and reflections, and of course, ray tracing. Now we don't know the specifics on the GPU and the CPU, we do know that the GPU is quite beefy. Also, the CPU is said to be four times as powerful as the Xbox One X. And also, we should talk about the importance of input and output. The Series X apparently has a 40 times improvement of speed, 
And speaking of speed, to make sure that the memory keeps up with everything else, the Series X has been upgraded to GDDR6. Now a huge staple with the Series X, and something that's become industry standard, especially with PC gaming, is the hard drive. Now the beauty of this solid state drive is it's become a staple of the PC gaming community. It looks like a stick of RAM. It's actually an NVMe solid state drive. It's a new type of solid state drive. It does not take up much space at all and it drastically increases your load times. Your system load up times and your game loading should see an increased boost with the Series X. Now talking about the specs of the hardware, what can you expect in terms of your frame rates and your resolution? Now I'm curious just to see how optimized this is going to be, especially for third party titles specifically, but the capabilities of the Series X extends all the way up to 120 frames per second with variable refresh rate and it has the capability of putting out at 8K resolution. 4320p. That's a lot for a console. Now if you design your system for the craziest of scenarios, in this case if it's designed to output up to 8K, imagine what 4K is going to look like and imagine how easy it's going to be for the console to potentially display in 4K. And a question I have for you down in the comments below is what do you care more about? We discussed the potential on frame rate and resolution. What's more important to me is a consistent 60 frames per second. I hate stuttering, I hate micro stutters, I hate lag. So more than anything, I want this thing to be able to deliver a constant frame rate that looks smooth on screen. What's more important to you, frame rate or the resolution? All in all, the system's looking to develop a very beautiful picture. Now moving on to the graphics that have been demonstrated, take a look at this Hellblade trailer. It's incredibly impressive and definitely take note that this entire trailer is being showcased in engine. If the gameplay ends up looking anything like the trailer done in engine, the Xbox Series X will definitely be a powerhouse contender. Now that we've looked at the physicalities of the system and its powerhouse potential, we need to talk about how it fits into the Xbox family. Big buzzwords that have been coming and going ever since new console generations started to develop new systems, backwards compatibility. Now keeping true to the mission statement of their brand, Xbox being the name of the brand and the family, all of your games and accessories from previous Xboxes will work completely perfectly with the Series X. You can insert up to four generations of Xbox games into the Series X and it will work. We need that as consumers as much as possible. If you always had to upgrade your system, your gear, your games, every generation or every console cycle, you might completely lose your interest in the hobby itself. And now the big one. When can you get your hands on it? When's the release date of the Xbox Series X? At the moment, there's only a release window available. There's no set in stone release date, but the current window is set for holiday 2020. Now that means likely in the fourth quarter of 2020 between the months of October and December. Now I expected this greatly just like other gamers because pushing out a console during the holiday window increases your likelihood for sales, better advertising and marketing potential, and the consumer having more of an instant want or need because they're seeing many more people get it at that time their real life or their online friends talking about it and they're gonna wanna jump on it. So holiday 2020 makes perfect sense and I'm sure you're excited just like I am. Thank you for joining me my sinners on this Xbox Series X information video. Leave me a like guys, it's always appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe and hit that bell so you're always kept up to date with any of my gaming related videos, be it gameplay, news, reviews, etc. And aside from the questions I asked earlier, are you excited for the Series X? Until next time, my sinners, thank you very much. Bye bye. With variable refresh rate, and it has the capability of showcasing an 8K frame.